And in a wide market, the favourite is number two, and that is praise indeed. Off and running in the two East Newcastle Gold Cup and towards the uh, inside as Fazia fast as away, too darn hot going uh, with them. Now getting across on the outside, Kalahari Sands and then came Hunter Winemaker Linesman. Over on the outside is Quen Quest, followed by Magic. Between those runners there over on the inside is uh, Yellow Roy. Now they were followed by Praise Indeed. A fair break in the field there on the outside of those is Enmore Cut and then came Hagman, Grandmaster, Planet Hollywood, Catalan Prince in second last place, our Mr. Kinman, and Twilight Hours last of all. They gallop towards the 1800 metre marker, and Hunter Winemaker takes the lead in the cup by a length on Kalahari Sands, working to third linesman over on the outside. A length away to Ken Quest, followed by Too Darn Hot. A length away to Magic around the outside of Aspasia, followed by Praise Indeed, who's only about seven lengths from the leader. A length away on the outside to Yellow Roy. They were followed over on the inside by Emerald Cut, and then came Hagman. Two lengths to Grandmaster Planet Hollywood, Cattle and Prince. In second last place, our Mr. Kinman. And Twilight Hour was last. They're in the back straight towards the Demerick Stride. In the cup, 1300 left the run. And the leader, Hunter Winemaker, by a length to Linesman. In third place, Kalahari Sands Magic, followed by Two Darn Hot. Around the outside is Yellow Roy, followed by Praise Indeed. Ken Quest on the inside. A length further back to Aspasia, followed by Emerald Cut Hagman. Two lengths to Planet Hollywood Grandmaster. A fair margin away to our Mr. Kinman. In second last place, Catelyn Prince and Twilight Hour was last of all uh, towards the Sound of Bells Lodge. Hunter Winemaker, the leader from Magic, uh, moving to third on the outside, Yellow Roy. And then came Kalahari Sands going around the outside. Praise indeed, starting to track up, track them up nicely. A length away to two darn hot. Catelyn Prince going around the outside, so followed up on the outside there by Aspasia. A length further back on the inside as they start to stack up was Enmo Carter. Just in front of it was Ken Quest, a fair way back to Grandmaster, our Mr. Ken and Catelyn Prince as they travel up towards the turn in the Tui Newcastle Gold Cup for 97 and Hunter Winemaker brings them to the 400 the leader in second place down the outside is Magic Kelly Hara Sands and Aspasia starting to sprint to them quickly right down the outside there was Linesman and coming home well was Enmo Cut Aspasia the leader here comes Enmo Cut on the outside within a half length of the leader just about gets it and down the outside our Mr Kingsman Enmo Cut moving to Aspasia Enmo Cut it's going to go home too well, isn't it? And we'll cut a neck on the line to Aspasia, getting up to run third hour, Mr. Kingsman, and then came uh, Grandmaster, followed closely on the inside by Ken Quest Magic, praise indeed, Hunter Winemaker, too darn hot, and then came Linesman, Catelyn Prince, the next one in was Yellow Roy, Planet Hollywood, Hagman, second last was Twilight Hour, and last of all, Kalahari Sands. Moving up, Bendigo. 14, 4 and 11. 14 Emerald Cut Super Tab 25 27 even. 4 Aphasia 440. 11 our Mr. Kinman 420. To go to move up and join Aspasia who sprinted quickly and he looked to have a nice break but Emerald Cut going home too well in the last little bit. And number 11 in third place our Mr. Kinman. Emerald Cut 2940 and 730. Number 4 Aspasia $5. And number 11 our Mr. Kinman $4.50. 14 4 11 race 8. The time 231.9, 231.9, last 600 metres 35.01. Daily double on two and 14, 77 dollars on the uh, cup there. Getting set at Bendigo, then uh, Dolby. Here's Bendigo. The big right. one of the day at Newcastle, the Tui's Gold Cup. Glenn Boss, the rider in the Gay Waterhouse colours. And uh, here is uh, Gay coming back there with Glenn in the saddle there. He resumed with a uh, one and a quarter length third to our red boy in Fiorinelli at Canterbury. And... Uh, then he was uh, racing at uh, Warwick Farm in a Class 5 race back in September. That particular horse is certainly eligible for much easier races, but you cannot underestimate the Gay Waterhouse stable in big races, and that's what she's done today. She had linesman in the race as long as, uh, as well as Admiral Cut, and she's done it with the 33 to 1 shot there. So congratulations to all concerned. Glenn's got another ride a bit later on this afternoon in the final race of the day. Two rides, and he could possibly take two wins. He's on... Uh, Maranti in race nine, which is around about a five or six to one chance there. So there's Gay Waterhouse giving Glenn Boss a congratulatory kiss. And there's Johnny Gilmore there, penning down some uh, of what Gay's saying. And uh, she's 
pretty happy about the whole thing, isn't she? Well done. So there's Gary Harley too, by the way. Now, Emerald Cut, aphasia at our Mr. Kinman. Cordella, $250.50 and exact of 14 to beat 4, 523.40 and the trifecta $9,068.90 for race 8 at Newcastle. This is what Gay had to say. Whenever we put him in a restricted race, he runs last. So I thought, oh, well, today, I mean, he was, I don't know, 33 to 1 or whatever. And I just said to Glenn, I said, have him where he's comfortable, don't bustle him. You know? What a great thrill. Your dad's playing a 6 or 7 Newcastle Cup. Yes. Yes, it's lovely. Jock Galogli having a chat there with